striving padana sutt when resolved upon striving i had gone to the nirajana river as i was meditating very strenuously to attain security from bondage namuchi approached me speaking compassionate words you are thin pale you are on the verge of death a thousand parts belong to death one fraction of your life remains live so life is better while living make merits while you are living in the spiritual life and performing the fire sacrifice abundant merit is stored up why devote yourself to striving hard to travel is the path for striving hard to practice hard to achieve speaking these verses mara stood in the presence of the buddha when mara had spoken in such a way the blessed one said to him kingsman of the heedless evil one you have come here with a purpose i don't have any need even for the slightest merit it is fitting for mara to speak to those who have need of merits i have faith and energy too and wisdom exists in me when i am so resolute why do you ask me to live this wind might dry up even the streams of the rivers so why when i am resolute should it not dry up my blood when the blood is drying up the bile and the phlegm dry up when my muscles are wasting away my mind becomes even more serene and my mindfulness and wisdom and concentration become more firm while i am dwelling in such a way i experience extreme pain yet my mind does not turn to sensual pleasures behold the purity of the bee sensual pleasures are your first army the second is core discontent hunger and the thirst are the third the fourth is core craving the fifth is dullness and drowsiness the sixth is called covetous doubt is your seventh your eighth the negation and pride gain praise and honor and wrongly obtain fame is ninth the tenth is when one extols oneself and looks down at others this is your arm in amuchi the squadron of the dark one a weakling does not conquer it but having conquered it one gain bliss i wear munja grass which would life be to me it's better that i die in battle than live on defeated some ascetics and brahmins and gulf here are no longer seen they don't know the path by which the disciplined one travel having seen the banned army all around and mar with his vehicle ready i'll go out to meet him in battle may he not dislodge me from my place though the world with its devas cannot overcome that army of yours i will destroy it with wisdom like a fresh clay bowl with a stone having gained mastery over my intention and with mindfulness well established i wander from realm to realm guiding many disciples heedful and resolute those practitioners of my teaching against your wishes will go to the stage where our wonders are so for seven years i have followed blessed one trailing him step by step but i have found an opening in the enlightened one who is mindful that's a crow that circled around a stone that looked like a lump of fat perhaps we'll find something tender here perhaps there may be something tasty but finding nothing tasty here the crow departed from the place just like the crow that attacked the stone will you go to be disappointed 
So much was stricken with sorrow that his lute fell from his armpit. Thereupon the saddened spirit disappeared right on the spot.